Hello people, uh, I want to show you something that I've made. As you can see this looks like uh, like normal ROM, but it isn't. This is 256 lines of ROM. Uh, each line is 16 bits. And uh, this, is, this is pretty big, this is pretty big. But this isn't the normal type of uh, read-only memory. So let me just uh, stack out what it would look like. This is only going to be for the data part. This like square part is where the data is. This is just addressing. So I'm just going to stack this out and uh, show you that this is quite a lot smaller. So let's do this. Okay, stack 16 for that. Okay, stack 16. Oh, actually, no. I need a brick. Ooh, one right here. Yeah. Okay. I have to do that because so it looks like the same. Because on the normal one, you don't have to have a little space here. This is just because when it gets that compact, it gets a little bit awkward. So let's stack this across 15. So now we've got our 16 lines, so let's stack this down. Stack this down 16D. And as you can see, this is a whole lot smaller. So right now, so this is 256 lines. This is 256 lines, so let's compare. So how many lines are underneath here? So there's one, two, three, four. Four times sixteen, I think that's sixty-four. Another sixty-four lines could be fit here. In the same space as two hundred and fifty six lines on this thing. So that's quite a lot more compact. And I'll uh, show you how I got it so small. So let me copy out a bit of this. Okay, so as you can see, this is how I've arranged this thing. So instead of having just straight lines going across and just a nice simple formula, I've kind of kind of like I don't know if there's a word for this, but I've kind of like squiggled the lines, which allows me and offset each line. So this one goes here, then here, then here, then here, then here, and it zigzags down. You can see that like here. So it goes there, 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 there. What this allows me to do is, using da uh, slabs, it allows me to let signal go th under the blocks while it still isn't, like, without actually blocking the signal. So if it was just normal, it wouldn't let it go through. But because it's a slab, it's got a gap. So what this allows me to do is sync the lines into one another. So like this here so in what is going on in this card anyway so you can see that every one two three every three blocks there's a line which in this one there's one two three four that one block difference adds up a whole lot when it comes to a large like memory size. Because as I stack this down 16 times, it's allowed me to have another e an extra uh, 4 times, one, two, three, four. another 16 blocks to use. I think that's 16. I don't, I don't know, I'm, I'm pretty bad at maths right now. I just woke up. <laughs> But yeah, this is quite the compact stuff, and this is this is a design that I'm gonna use for my uh, for my uh, CPU. So yeah, so but the thing is, I'm not actually gonna be using this much because the way that I'm gonna uh, use the memory is that I'm gonna have 30 bytes 
uh, that I can actually program through the CPU itself. So read only memory, you can only read from it. I can't just tell the CPU to go, oh, go to this line and rewrite it. I have to set this in stone by me placing stuff. So yeah, so I'm gonna have uh wait, so no six I think I'm gonna have around two hundred and forty bytes in here and then another thirty bytes elsewhere. Anyway, 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 anyway. So let's go down to the speed of this thing. This would take these would take the same amount of ticks. Barring the ticks that would it take to uh, bus the inputs for the address and the outputs for the data because since this is longer it's going to take more ticks to reach a point where but all of it can be accessed in the same input it's like it's like here that can reach everywhere but if this was let's say this high I don't think that would reach the bottom one no so it'd take more ticks to actually fix that issue I hate useless blocks. <laughs> okay, uh, so that goes there. So yeah, so this, so this takes. This is the same for each level, by the way. So this takes one, two, three, four. Or, or we could do one, two, three, four. Then there's five, six, and an output. Oops. So, so that'd be wait. So one, two, three, four. Ah, five, six, seven. Yeah. So this would mean that I would need a buffer here because my CPU is going to be eight ticks. But seven ticks, seven ticks. God damn. For the same, so the, so this would be around eight ticks because it'd probably take an extra tick to have ev everything reach and then I think yeah it'd probably take an extra tick so this would probably be around eight ticks and this is seven ticks so that's a whole lot better plus plus it's so much more compact I could fit an extra 64 lines in the same space which is just magnificent so this currently is uh, I think it's four kilobytes in that space, the same here, and yeah, so that's fucking awesome. Sadly, I can't use this for <laughs> RAM because it's only read only. But if I could, if if someone can make RAM that compact in the same amount of ticks, I would be fucking gobsmacked. But yeah, that, that was that's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to show you guys. Uh. Don't really know what else to add. Um, oh yeah, this by the way is a little bit bigger than what it would usually be because, as you can see here, there was a gap. So just imagine this two blocks inwards, and then uh, another block inwards from the side because for the decoders, uh, if you've made any, you'll you'll know the fucking pain in the ass it is to make him th uh, fall tall stacked down as well <laughs> so I had to have extra space to allow s some of the repeaters to go here or else they would have gone into the blocks and it would have caused some hell of fucking ruppery I don't know what the fuck came out of my mouth but yeah uh, also a big tip big fucking tip if you're ever making a decoder that's more than three bits knowing that the signal strength of uh, redstone is 15 which is perfect for two wide uh, stacked decoders is that you can instead of having to do repeaters torches repeat torches you can just keep them as torches for anything higher than the three bits for the first three bits so for eight for what I did for eight was that when I wanted it to cancel a line when it was turned on all I would do is have torches go the whole the whole length, but I would invert the signal when I wanted it to enable the line when it's turned on. So as you can see here, when I turn this off, which is 
because the in it's inverted so when i turn this on but it's turning this off so yeah it cancels this but this is cut because this is inverted it enables this side so which is perfect because it doesn't add any ticks it's the same amount of ticks whether you use the repeater here or the torch and this saves us so much fucking space because if i had to do it the normal way i'd have to have a gap between every uh input uh, every uh, bit but now i can have it as the normal size so this is so basically uh you, you'll be able to see a pattern here actually if i uh so for the upper bits where you can't have a torch there instead since this is 16 lines sometimes you'll have to cancel or enable a whole block so 16 so when i turn 16 on which is bit this bit here when i turn this on it cancels all of this layer but then enables all of this layer so to do that all you have to do is just invert the input to each line so you should be able to see a little pattern here the binary pattern so one one here so this is zero zero all of them are going to disable this line one 16 is going to enable this line two three four and it goes all the way down so that's a cool pattern that i noticed so yeah that's pretty much it super fucking compact memory read only memory read only memory don't, don't get your hopes up for writable memory yeah, that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. See ya.